Hello, everyone, and welcome to the MathDBase.com Anacast series. I'm your host, John Kasiedu. In this installment in the Developmental Mathematics series, I'm going to discuss prime and composite numbers, part one, multiples and divisibility. One whole number is divisible by another if there is no remainder after dividing. If one number is divisible by another, then it is said to divide evenly by that number, or that the number divides it. For example, 36 is divisible by 3, since 36 divided by 3 equals 12, with zero remainder. Also, 4 divides 52, since 52 divided by 4 equals 13, with zero remainder. If one whole number is divisible by another, then the first number is a multiple of the second. For example, since 36 is divisible by 3, 36 is a multiple of 3, that is, 3 times 12 equals 36. 52 is a multiple of both 4 and 13, since both numbers divide 52, and 4 times 13 equals 52. 49 is not divisible by 3, since 49 divided by 3 equals 16, with a remainder of 1. However, 49 is divisible by 7, so it is a multiple of 7. A factor of a whole number is any whole number by which it is divisible. For example, 3 and 12 are both factors of 36, since each number divides 36, and 3 times 12 equals 36. Other factors of 36 are 1, 2, 4, 6, 9, 18, and 36. 1 and 36 are factors of 36 because they both divided. 36 divided by 1 is 36, and 36 divided by 36 is 1. The number 1 divides every whole number and gives that whole number as the result. Since every whole number divides itself, every whole number is a factor of itself. Factoring a number is the process of writing a number as a product of its factors. A number may have many sets of factors. For example, 36 could be factored into pairs, 1 times 36, 2 times 18, 3 times 12, 4 times 9, and 6 times 6, into triplets, 2 times 2 times 9, 2 times 3 times 6, or 3 times 3 times 4, and into one quadruplet, 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Any whole number that ends in 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0 is divisible by 2 and called even. So any even number other than 0 is a multiple of 2. If a number is not even, it is called odd. If the sum of the digits of a whole number is divisible by 3, then the number is divisible by 3. For example, in the number 282, the sum of the digits is 2 plus 8 plus 2, or 12. Since 12 is divisible by 3, 282 is divisible by 3. And 282 divided by 3 equals 94. Also, for 2187, the sum of the digits is 7 plus 8 plus 1 plus 2, or 18. Since 18 is divisible by 3, 2,187 is divisible by 3, and 2,187 divided by 3 equals 729. If the units and tens digit of a whole number form a number that is divisible by 4 or ends in 0, 0, then the number is divisible by 4. Most years that are divisible by 4 are leap years, years in which February has 29 days instead of the usual 28. 2000, 2004, 2008, and 2012 are the four most recent leap years, and 2016 will be the next. 2000 ends in 00, zero and the 04, four, zero 08, one two, and one six of the other four years are divisible by 4. 2000 divided by 4 equals 500. 2004 divided by 4 equals 501. 2008 divided by 4 equals 502. 2012 divided by 4 equals 503, and 2016 divided by 4 equals 504. Though the years 2002 and 2010 are even numbers, 0, 2, and 10 are not divisible by 4, so 2002 and 2010 divided by 4 will not give whole number results. 2002 divided by 4 equals 500.5, and 2010 divided by 4 equals 502.5. Any whole number that ends in 5 or 0 is divisible by 5. If a number ends in 0, it means that the number is a multiple of 10, and 10s are divisible by 5. For example, 345 divided by 5 equals 69, 
and 4070 divided by 5 equals 814. If a whole number is divisible by 2 and by 3, then the number is divisible by 6. For example, 72 is divisible by 2. We know that because it is even. And 72 is also divisible by 3 because the sum of its digits, 2 plus 7 equals 9, which is divisible by 3. So 72 will be divisible by the product of 2 and 3, or 6. 72 divided by 6 equals 12. If the units, tens, and hundreds digits of a whole number form a number that is divisible by 8, or ends in 0, 0, 0, then the number is divisible by 8. If the result of division of a whole number by 4 is an even number, then that whole number is divisible by 2 times 4, and therefore divisible by 8. In the number 3136, the ones, tens, and hundreds digits form the number 136. We know that 136 is divisible by 4 because 36 is divisible by 4, and that result is 34, which is even, so 136 is divisible by 2 times 4, or 8. 3136 divided by 8 equals 392. If a number ends in 0, 0, 0, it is a multiple of 1000, which is a multiple of 100, and therefore divisible by 4, since that number ends in 0, 0. If a number is a multiple of 1000, division by 4 will give a quotient ending in 0, which is even, so the number will also be divisible by 2 times 4, or 8. If the sum of the digits of a whole number is divisible by 9, then the number is divisible by 9. For example, in the number 6,327, the sum of the digits is 7 plus 2 plus 3 plus 6, or 18. Since 18 is divisible by 9, 6,327 is divisible by 9, and 6,327 divided by 9 equals 703. Any whole number that ends in 0 is divisible by 10. No matter how many zeros a number has at the end, it is a multiple of 10, and so divisible by 10. If it has two zeros at the end, it is a multiple of 100, and therefore divisible by 10. If a number has six zeros at the end, it is a multiple of 1 million, also a multiple of 10, and therefore divisible by 10. If the sum of the even place digits in a whole number is equal to the sum of the odd place digits, or if the difference between the sums of the even and odd place digits is divisible by 11, then the number is divisible by 11. For example, in 58,597, the odd place digits are 7, 5, and 5, and their sum is 7 plus 5 plus 5, or 17. The even place digits are 9 and 8, with a sum of 9 plus 8, or 17. Since the sums of the even and odd place digits are equal, 58,597 is divisible by 11, and 58,597 divided by 11 equals 5,327. In 29,271, the even place digits 7 and 9 have a sum of 16, and the odd place digits 1, 2, and 2 have a sum of 5. The difference between the two sums is 16 minus 5, or 11, which is divisible by 11. So 29,271 is divisible by 11, with a quotient of 2,661. Products of the divisors of many whole numbers will also divide that whole number. For example, if a whole number is divisible by 3 and 4, it is also divisible by 12. If a whole number is divisible by 3 and 5, it is also divisible by 15. If a whole number is even and divisible by 11, it is also divisible by 22. If a whole number is divisible by 3 and 8, it is also divisible by 24. If a whole number is divisible by 3 and ends in 0, then the whole number is divisible by 30. If a whole number is divisible by 3 and 11, it is also divisible by 33. If a whole number is divisible by 4 and 9, it is also divisible by 36. If the unit's digit of a whole number is 0 and the tens digit is even, then the number is divisible by 20. In other words, if the first two digits of a whole number form a multiple of 20, the number is divisible by 20. For example, in 4160, the 60 is a multiple of 20, so 4160 is divisible by 20. 4,160 divided by 20 equals 208. If a whole number ends in 0, 0, or in two digits that form a multiple of 25, then the number is divisible by 25. 9,771,375 ends in 75, which is a multiple of 25. So 9,771,375 is a multiple of 25, 
and 9,771,375 divided by 25 equals 390,855. While even whole numbers can be divisible by either even or odd numbers, odd whole numbers are only divisible by other odd numbers.